Today we are going to talk about serious games and management. We are not going to talk, we are going to develop. The idea is that we are not going to give you a game. The idea is that you are going to develop your own serious games, considering your own topic. We are working on high potentials, how best to make sure they remain in the company and valorize them. And then you're going to describe this topic and to find the way in a serious game to present this topic and make other people play. So you are in HR. I would like you to find a topic in HR. You have to find a framework with theoretical dimensions. You have to find a story and you have to build it. To help you, we're going to use an authoring tool called IT Studio. In this authoring tool, you will be able to pick up different avatars, environment, and build your story. We have 30 hours, let's start. I take, for example, confidentiality. You are aware of a problem in the company. You, as a manager, you have access to the truth. For example, everything is being reorganized and we ask you not to tell. You must be able to keep this from others. So you have a specific professional behavior. This is the first dimension. However, you do not live alone on a desert island. You are in touch with your collaborators and your colleagues, and they are worried. They are asking questions, are giving false rumors strategically. Basically, they're trying to find out what is really happening by giving false information. The second dimension which adds tension to this scenario is that you are living collectively and you would like to keep a positive relationship with your colleagues. And if I tell him something that is wrong, how does he react? What should be done? Must we divulgate information that is not officially announced? Must we remain evasive and let him continue to think what he wants? How to recruit a high potential? How to develop loyalty programs. We position ourselves. We take on several masks. And the idea is to, for example, for those students who are going to work in different companies, these games can be considered also as a key point in their resume, for example. It's a way to show their work and their ability. So they can make people play to get recruited. So it's a good point for us.